Hello and welcome back again to another episode of XCOM 2 War the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're starting a new run and it is yet going to be another challenge run. I will call this one here the No Shot or No Bullet Wasted Run. We are going to go and play Legendary Iron Man uh, difficulty and not a single shot is uh, to be taken. No weapon, nothing. I will double down on it and even say I'm not going to use any explosive either. Ooh. Okay, so uh, with that it might sound a bit too restrictive, but I think I do have an idea how to pull it off. So we're only going to use melee weapons and psionic powers and that's pretty much what we got because there is not much more in XCOM if you take the weapons away, that's a pretty major part of the game. With that being said, we are going to play on Legend. We're going to tag, uh, toggle on a couple of advanced options. I would like to start with a Templar. I would like to start with permanent dark events. And you know what? We're going to make explosives massively weaker because we're not going to use them. So as pretty much as difficult as you can uh, make the game. And on top of that, we're playing it Iron Man style. And we will see how that overall is going to um, go out. You guys, please remember two things. Number one, this is the first uh, episode of the series. So if you want to be drafted towards our squads and uh, be a part of the roster in the future, now is the time to comment down here. And speaking about comments, that's number two. But we're watching the wonderful intro. Uh, every single comment helps. Keep in mind that the channel pretty much depends on the YouTube algorithm. So the growth of the channel is uh, based on the amount of comments because that is interaction with the channel. Anyways, without further ado, let us move into the mission. Well, and there we are. Landed right in the middle of the city. It's going to be a fun one. Uh, doing gate crasher with no weapons, no, no explosives. But how are you going to do it, Saiken? Well, thank you for asking. That's exactly why we brought Hogbite, the legend, with us. He is going to be the one that is helping us. We got VGM here. Um, we got True Rebel here. And we got Haywire. Uh, pretty much a nice combination of newer and um, more seasoned um, soldiers that we brought with us. One thing that we cannot do uh, with this run is we can Control certainly not do an overwatch type of ambush. The first time that a shot is being taken, the run is considered to be failed, which means we always got to make sure that we're not overwatching. No threat assessment. Right, so we know the first pack is sort of there. By the way, might as well move closer. And Hogbite is taking the very front over here. Anchor down, anchor down, anchor down. That's exactly what we're going to do. Anchor down, my friend, and hope for the best. It's a bit dangerous rushing in there. Could mean that we're could mean that we're pulling someone else. So I think what we would want to do is let's trigger them so that they are moving into position and we're just going to fall back. Can't really do anything with anyone other than Hogbite anyways. All right, trooper. <laughs> Very much is killed. One strike, one kill. Oh no. That's not good. That is so much not good. All right, we're going to move back into full cover. I was so dedicated not to pull anything. Oh boy, that's going to suck. Like a lot. Going to half cover. 
haywired over here. And there's even a chance that we're going to see a resurrection. Alright, BDM is going to hunker down. We're not going to do anything with Hayward. Just offering a couple of targets. If they do have a target-rich environment, they will take a couple of shots. The rookies are expendable. I'm sorry, Vince. <laughs> this is going to be a bloody campaign. Just need to get uh, through Gatecrasher somehow. This one here is going to be dangerous. Oh, Vince is still alive. That's not bad. Not a 100% kill yet. So, how about we're triggering Overwatch by essentially sprinting over here. Good to go. Sprint reduces the chance that we're being hit. Doesn't um, completely take it away. Pulling two packs definitely was a huge, huge problem for us. But there isn't much that I can do about it. It is what it is. We gotta suck it up now. All right, we are loaded. We got a lot of focus and how about we're moving back and back. Got to shift. Uh, Got to shift the uh, front from time to time. Hey, Ward. Ah, see you standing strong. Good job. He's a one-shot now, so if we could... Ooh, don't mind control him. Well, that is potentially not very good, because we gotta move back. I got an idea. Confirmed. It's going to be a bit more difficult than normal. I'm going down. I'm going down in full cover is pretty much a good way of not getting hit at all. Very good. Well, so far, that worked out well. Alright, so that would be an option. Okay. So we can't cut. I never tried to evac on gate pressure. Yep, it seems. Well, I'm sorry. We won't be able to recover that buddy. All right, we're going to do a bit of a hit and run. Moving even further back. We're going to trick the enemy with line of sight by closing the store <laughs> yeah and then let's hunker down Edward needs to survive so we're moving even a little bit further back it should be coming into our in our direction unfortunately we lost the first rookie can't really do much about that. Fire in the 
I mean, at this point, I can't even take overwatch shots without, like, uh, violating or removing the overwatch without violating um, the limitations of this run. Rest in peace, Vince. You will be missed. Okay, so we can hit him. We can kill him. 50% though. Let's... Try to spring the overwatch Ready trap. That's a miss, which is fantastic. Okay, we gotta nonetheless see this guy, so... How could I position myself in order to see him? Yeah, that's not a good idea. Not a good idea either. This here should be able to spot him out. Yep, it is. So we need it. Let's hope for maximum damage. Unfortunately, not successful. Half cover. This here is full cover. It's not a bad full cover. Let's use it. Move it on target location. All right. Stay Going to hunker down. That is quasi full cover. Mind spin. Reanimate. Reanimate. Okay. Reanimate is good. Because we can kill him next turn, and that would kill both of the re reanimations on top of it. It's probably going to be an overwatch. No, it's a reload, which is fine. This here is a problem. <clears throat> Guy's also a problem. All right. Now let's. Hit, hit them where it hurts. Very good. Got ourselves the first Celerium Core. Perfect. That also eliminates the problem of these guys. Moving into full cover. I would additionally like to move up here that should not be a place where we can be spotted out at all and we're moving even further away oh he's running away well that's not so good because the next pack will have four enemies in it Good. Well, one more pack. You know what they say. The enemy is keeping the best um, for the last. It's going to be the pack with the Moving. Advent Officer. Agreed. That's affirmative. Maintain All right. Holden. This is a safe the person that counts is Hogbite. We want him to survive this, hopefully without getting injured, if possible. Confirmed. Orders confirmed. On the move. The path is clear. Moving in, and as always, we are hunkering down. Now the single shot was taking that day, because we are a peaceful organization. We're just Moving out. hitting people unconscious with massive psionic lances. You have my trust. Move into designated position. Or we're slicing them open or frying their brains. We're not going to use guns. Out there. 
That is a no-no for XCOM. Okay. Well, typical tactic of an Overwatch trap would not work so well if you have nothing to Overwatch. Only thing that we can do is over hunker. But that was never a successful strategy. I wonder why. <clears throat> Hopefully we're going to get some really sweet Bladestorm a little bit later. Gotta improve his damage potential. Alright. X4 module is armed. Neutralize any remaining hostile contacts. I trust in your command. Good. So far so good. Oh come on. Are you kidding me? Sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter and I'm not even sure this is how this is possible or oh, rip um, seriously like we were moving from here to here those guys were standing right behind this is solid there is no way that that could have um, actually seen them two four six seven Wow that is so disappointing. Let's reduce That's the enemy's good. numbers on the battlefield. Going to full cover. Edward here is standing in full cover. We're just going to hunker down. VDM uh, doesn't really have a great spot to, to be. This guy here can move all the way over here. And that's a problem. So might as well move all the way up to here, but then we're going to be flanked. We could move to here. Half cover is not the best cover. Nah, I think we're going to stick with half cover for now. Like I said, it's definitely not advisable. And this here is even worse, but it is even worse than I thought. Yep. I should have considered that he would actually sacrifice it all. Okay, in order to keep Hogbite alive, we're going to trigger the Overwatch. VDM is. He's, pretty, he's uh, doing a pretty good job in keeping his friend alive here. Can't really hit more than one. Alright. Yes, Completely moving into full cover again. All right, BDM has done all he could in order to safeguard. And now it's down to Hogbite, Hogbite only. Indeed, they will torment you no longer. Probably the many, many screams of your friends horribly dying they couldn't defend themselves will torment you for a while Agreed. oh there we go that's exactly what i was looking for okay so how about yeah that's a good one okay i think that was um an interesting gatekeeper. I would say we succeeded on the approach to um, let Hogbite survive with with zero uh, scars and he will be available for the next mission. So that was very successful. 
What was only partially successful was the rest of the mission, i.e. getting anyone out there. Oh boy, that was a harsh first mission. <laughs> okay, well, I've never had such a poor gate crasher. I think I've never actually had such a poor gate crasher. Rip Hayward, rip True Rebel, rip the DM. You've done an admirable job in keeping the man of uh, the hour alive, Hawkbite. <laughs> yeah, my people understand the value of our cooperation, aka you just uh, bodyguarded it and jumped in front of every single bullet. Good job. Got three extra abilities. Hopefully one of them is Bladestorm. Well, and there we are. Let's start with some research. I can already uh, tell you we might want um vests so hybrid materials is what we're starting with engineering you'd be surprised how big of a difference hmm. some of these things can make in combat flashbang uh, sounds interesting but yeah flashbang wouldn't work because we are not allowed to throw any grenades it's not technically an explosive, uh, but I don't want to be kind of that guy who's telling you, yeah, I'm not using explosives, but then we're using smoke grenades and flash bings. Um, yeah, it's not happening. So medkit is the only true choice that we do have if we were to take something. Smoke grenade, I think could be argued uh, that it is in the sense of that challenge to even give us a bit more defense uh, it's an item that is not often used, so yeah, that's actually, I'm probably too strict. Yeah, we are going to start with GTS this time, because we gotta um, get the right classes. Good, we still got a bit of a roster here, Rust, Quick Feet, Sane, Johnny Five, Halo, Divert, Sonar and Toxic. So I can grind through a couple more rookies before um, the campaign will derail. This new Templar operative may be a bit unique, but so far everything seems on the level. We're receiving the position of the Templar HQ now. We don't know much about these Templars, so it might be worth sticking around here for a while. Okay, cool. Thank you, Brad, for for letting us know all of uh, that. We already know it. Um. Got a couple of supplies, so I think that's worthwhile starting there. Might all, uh, always want to invest a few more supplies uh, just a tiny bit later um, into actual equipment. Good, so we can theoretically go for plated armor. We got a uh, nanoscale vest. And we got a couple of experimental weapons. Let's think about it. Experimental weapons, we got uh, the axe, which would be fantastic. Um, Frostbow, not so much. Frost grenade, also not so much. Yeah, it's always just the axe. Uh, the pistol uh, would be nice, but if we do not have snipers, that really doesn't matter. Plated armor is too far away. We don't have alien alloys yet, so might as well go for alien biotech really because just for an x um that is I had assumed you'd make that not uh, worth it I'll notify you as soon as the is although a ranger could throw that at an enemy and say let me ask you a question Avenger that would be funny but uh, besides the amusement probably not worth 13 days of um, research Scientist, very, very strong pick there. I like it. And we got ourselves an engineer if we destroy the alien relay. How would we do that? Destroy the alien relay. Uh, it's not immune against melee attack, so technically we can do it. But I'm not sure if we're fast enough. Really, I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's see. 
We'll go with the med kit, fix these supplies. Nano Scare West, we don't have enough trooper corpses, but that would be nice as well. I think I've never started with a double med kit start, but why not uh, starting to do that? Payloff takes a med kit. Yep, there you go. Good job, buddy. Yeah, you could take an old world assault rifle, but that really wouldn't make a difference at all. Um, sonar here. Takes another med kit and let's get rid of that Randy Savage Macho Man outfit. Um, yeah, we are taking a different torso. There's actually not a single one in the in the Anarchy Child's torsos that doesn't look some sort of biker-ish. And as much as I do appreciate that, but boy boy, that takes a bit away the idea of a proper um, shoe. Okay, anyways, um, that is fine. Sonar is good. Don't need to don't need to upgrade the rookies too much if they are going to die. And yeah, oh wow, that's already the end of uh, our first um, video. Almost inclined to go into the next one. Um, right away. No, but uh, we're going to end the uh, series or the mission here. That was a bloody great cr uh, gate crusher. I think we're off for a fantastic start. This is going to be a blast. I absolutely love what I'm seeing and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. If you do, uh, drop uh, the like and the comment down below and if you enjoy the, com uh, the content in general, how about you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Great, thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.